Hi, this is Dave from javacodejunkie.com and welcome to the first episode of a new series of tutorials on Java Database Connectivity or JDBC. In this first episode, we're going to look at the JDBC Connection class. JDBC enables Java applications to connect to relational databases. JDBC is database independent. Each database manufacturer is responsible for providing a JDBC driver, which is a set of classes that implements the Java JDBC interfaces that can be found in the java.sql package. Today I'm going to be showing you an example of how to connect to a relational database with JDBC using MariaDB as my relational database. Let's go to Eclipse and create a new project. File. New. Java project. I'm going to call this project JDBC Connection. Click Finish. Not going to create a module. Let's create a new package in our source folder in the project. com.javacodejunkie. Click Finish. And in this package, I'm going to create a new class. I'm going to call this class database. For the purposes of testing the methods that we create, I'm going to also include in this class a main method. So I'll check the public static void main method checkbox and click finish. So this is our new class. Before we can actually use JDBC to connect to any database, we need to download and install a JDBC driver. For MariaDB, you can download one from the mariadb.com website. Uh, here it is on the screen. I will leave a link to the MariaDB Connector J in the description below. Once you've downloaded it, you simply unzip it to a location of your choice on your hard drive. Included in the Connector J download for MariaDB is the Java client as well as the source code and Javadoc. So what I've done is I've created a user library in Eclipse and I'm going to attach that to our current project. So right click on the project, click Build Path, Configure Build Path. Under the Libraries tab, click on Class Path, Add Library user library and choose the Maria DB connector J. Click finish and click apply and close. And you'll see now in our project explorer that Maria DB connector J has been added to our project. I'm going to create the connection method as a static method so we don't have to instantiate uh, this class every time we want to get a connection. So let's create the method public static connection get connection and I'm going to pass several parameters to this method. The first one is a database URL in the form of a string. I'm also going to pass a user ID and a password. Let's organize our imports to import the connection class. The connection object is found in the Java SQL connection package. The MariaDB JDBC connector J is a type 4 JDBC driver. Getting a connection object is relatively simple. Connection. Connection. Equals driver manager dot get connection. And I'm going to pass the DB URL, the username, and the password to the get connection method. I'm going to explicitly set auto commit to true, even though that is the default behavior. Connection. True. And I'm going to return the connection to the caller. And since there's a possibility of the driver manager throwing a SQL exception, I'm going to add a throws declaration to the method. And that's it for the JDBC connection method. 
Well, let's look at how we would go about testing that method. Let's go to our main method and see how we're going to connect to the database using JDBC. We'll first define a variable for our connection object. We're going to set up our three parameters, the database URL, the user, and the password. So first, the database URL. It starts with JDBC colon MariaDB. And this will be different for each relational database. This is how it's set up for MariaDB. You just check the documentation for a database that you're using if it's different than this one. And we specify the database server. In this case, I'm running it on my laptop, so it's localhost. Listening on port 3306, which is the default for MariaDB. And finally, the name of the database that we're going to connect to. I happen to have a database already set up from a previous tutorial series on MariaDB that I'm also running concurrent with this one. And the database is called Tutorial. The username is root. And the password is password. You wouldn't normally hard code this information directly into your program. The database URL would probably come from a parameters file for the application, whereas the username and password would likely come from an application login. So now that we have those three set up, we're just going to set up a try catch block. So now we'll try to get a connection from the static method that we set up in our database class. Connection equals database dot get connection the DB URL user and password and we'll just do a sys out to the console database connection successful in the catch block since this is only a test we'll just print out the stack trace and finally, we'll close the connection. So let's try to run the program. Right click, run as Java application. And here we see the message in the Eclipse console that the database connection was successful. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing so that you don't miss any future episodes when I release new content. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I appreciate it. And I hope to see you again in the next video. Until then, stay safe and keep on coding.